Hello all. Uh, this one's going to be on manipulating uh, other file systems. Um, say, for example, a Windows file system to be able to uh, read to it, write to it, and read from it, and also to disable the uh, first the one-time uh, password on a GNOME base system. And that also includes something like uh, XFCE as well. It uses the same sort of uh, file system, virtual file system. So, for example, I go to the home folder and on the side it says devices and uh, there's four here so say if I want to open this one mirror I must for a password so authenticate and give it some time to load and say if I wanted to uh, I don't know just copy a file um, I want to just write a file to it just copied over I get this error now if I open other ones or I want to reopen this it won't ask me again until I end the session so I'll close this down and unmount the hard drive hopefully yep okay so this involves uh, some command line I made some notes here and uh, best way to do it is just uh, super user uh, the root account so open a terminal super user the password you use to install uh, Linux in this case Arch Linux so change directory to this it should be there zoom in here so I'll just copy that in copy and then paste that into the terminal press enter and then it, we have to create a file called 10 dash rule 10 dash drive dot rules so again we'll copy that but before I paste that in it's uh, any editor you can use nano G edit whatever I'm going to use leaf pad and then I'll just uh, right click and paste that in you see here because I'm in the root so I don't need sudo and I press enter and it's a blank file and this is what you have to do is take this I'll put this in the notes of course this poll kit um, I think it comes I think most desktop uh, gnome based desktops come with this with poll kit now anyway but just in case you may want to make sure that's installed but uh, just copy this paste that into this blank document and then uh, file save and close and then we'll exit our uh, root terminal now you're getting uh, this uh, you won't notice anything until you reboot or end whatever um, or end your session uh, the next thing to write to it is uh, just you have to get this file ntfs 3g so I'll just uh, paste that in make it easier and that uh, downloads so I don't think you have to restart uh, so we'll go back to that uh, our home folder here and mount this directory uh, this drive sorry and we'll go to the home folder again and s try to copy uh, like a script file there it's done so that's from installing NTFS 3G so that's basically all you have to do uh, so just add uh, a couple of lines of script and download the uh, file and you should be good to go we won't ask you for a password and you can read and write from uh, whatever uh, file system you're using well NTFS obviously Windows okay so that I hope that helps someone out there and uh, thanks so much for watching we'll talk to you soon bye for now